The electrocardiogram, or ECG, is a recording of the heart's electrical activity via leads placed at standardised points on the subject's body. This animation shows how the different ECG waves are produced during a cardiac cycle. The P wave is produced as the electrical impulse travels through the atria, causing them to contract. The P wave corresponds to atrial depolarization. The impulse then travels through the atrioventricular node, producing a flat section on the ECG, known as the PR segment. The PR segment is flat, because no current is flowing through the cardiac muscle cells. As the impulse travels from the AV node to the bundle of His and along the upper part of the septum, the Q wave is produced. The passage of the electrical signal through the ventricles produces a large spike, called the QRS complex. The QRS complex is much larger than the P wave, because the ventricles are much larger than the atria, and so produce more electrical activity. Most of the QRS complex represents depolarization of the left ventricle, which has much greater mass than the right. The impulse remains unchanged for a moment, as the ventricles remain depolarized. This gives rise to another flat section, called the ST segment. As the impulse fades away and the ventricles repolarize, the T wave is formed. Note, this animation shows the ECG recorded from a lead placed at position V6, one of the standard electrode positions to the left of the heart. Leads at other positions detect the electrical activity of the heart from a different point of view, and therefore produce differently shaped ECGs. As you will see, during atrial fibrillation, the electrical activity of the atria becomes disorganised. As a result, there is no P wave on the ECG of a patient in atrial fibrillation. The absence of P waves is one of the most important features used to diagnose atrial fibrillation.